Well, hello, my water sign friends, and thank you for coming to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo, and I'm here to bring you your daily read for December 13th, 2017. Um, for those of you who ordered a video or ordered a reading for me, you will be getting an email tonight. No matter what, I'm sending out an email. If you haven't gotten it already, you will. Um, when I got back, I had over 2,000 emails um, for orders and just general questions. So please be patient. You will get uh, email tonight, though. And I did not forget anybody. I will get you all filled and completed. Um, Hopefully by the end of tomorrow, everyone that has ordered will have their reading that in their time frame, you know, that's outside of the time frame. So we're going to get started here. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for our water signs in general life? What messages do you have for them? And anything that they need to know. Sun, moon, rising, Venus um, for December 13th. 2017. I'm going to point you down here so you can see the table. What messages do you have for water signs in general? What do they need to know for December 13th, 2017? Okay, so it's saying to cut. Okay, well, bottom of the deck. Third party. First card that flew out, Two of Cups. So um, you have a choice to make. Um, water sign, is, it's probably a choice that is not easy. It's between two, two things that you love, two, you know, two jobs that you want, or you know, a choice between two things. This is not necessarily love because I'll, I will do a love spread next. This is in regards to work, career, life in general. So you have an appointment important choice to make. Um, your two clarifying cards for this are the four of cups. So you're not, um, you have two choices, yes, but you're not seeing the full value of both choices. So spirit is just really um, encouraging you to really look into what options you have. And um, because if you don't, um, you're going to choose <clears throat> on a whim and or just you know on the fly and it's not going to work out um yeah spirit is saying that you're not taking the time to slow down to um yeah you're just not taking the time to to really look at the offers to dig deep to um meditate and contemplate um you are going to offer or something is going to be offered to you that is going to fulfill you emotionally, um, in work or, um, whatever, uh, whatever it is that you are emotionally invested in. And it's going to, it's going to, in the end, work out. You will have your cups filled. Um, oops. but it's going to cause a lot of confusion. You're really confused over this because you have the three of cups or the three of pentacles. So you have the three of cups and the three of pentacles in reverse. So you are just really, this is in regards to a job for sure. Um, you just really don't know what you want to do. You love where you're at, but you really want to learn a new trade. You want to, um, go back to school. Uh, you want to try other things in your life. Cause right now this just isn't really, it fulfills you, but you know you can do more. You know you're destined for greater. You know there's something more to life than this. And so you're saying um, you're, you're not clear right now, but you will be. You will get a sign from the universe that is going to make everything um, a little more clear. So um, just don't rush into anything. Take the time to really, you know, do your pros and cons. And, um, yeah, just take the time to... Really think about it, because if you rush into it, it's not going to turn out pretty, Spirit says. You will not be on the winning end of that situation. Okay, so, single water signs. 
Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That is our Scorpio, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. I can't speak tonight, so I apologize. Or shuffle, apparently. Okay, Spirit and Angels. What messages do you have for our single water signs? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, um, Cancer, and Pisces. What messages do you have in regards to love on December 13th, 2017? What do they need to know? About their Wednesday, December 13th in love. All right. Single water signs. I apologize. I did not get a, a daily readout to you guys yesterday. I had to leave before um, I could get them uploaded. Back home. They're in the world of dial-up still. Okay. So your bottom of the deck card is the Eight of Cups. So um, you have recently moved on from a relationship or somebody has moved on for, from you in search of something better. It was not satisfying. And the five of swords is in reverse. So, you know, you just, you had some, um, you were debating within yourself whether to go or whether to stay because you were just tired of the, um, the heartache that was around it is what I'm getting on this one. You tried really hard to make um, this person happy. You could be dealing with an earth sign or an air sign. Um, I'm saying earth because it's being clarified by the hermit, which is Virgo, and the queen of pentacles, which is Virgo. So this is a water sign dealing with a Virgo or an earth sign. You did take the time to um, really think what you wanted and... You wanted somebody that's going to emotionally fulfill you and you're not going to have to beg for their attention, which is what you're having to do because more than likely they were sharing their attention with somebody else or something else. I mean, it could be, you know, your kids took up all their attention. They had hobbies that took all their attention. Could be that third party, but either way you had to beg them to love you almost. And that was not satisfying to you. And you decided to walk away for something better. And the Ten of Cups is in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, it just, it was no longer emotionally satisfying for you to be, um, to be in that. So you just decided to, to move on. Um, with the second, the Five of Swords in reverse, you, it was clarified by the Four of Swords. So you did take the time to contemplate what you were going to lose, what you were going to gain by walking away. And the benefits outweighed everything else. And the, oops, the justice card is in reverse, um, clarifying this hermit. And it was just unfair. And the relationship was not fair. And you expected them to put just as much into you as you did to them. And they weren't. And it's being clarified by the stars card. So you were destined to move on anyways, because... When you were putting out there to the universe what your wish was, your wish was not with this person. So you are destined to leave this relationship. Spirit is saying to get balanced, take the time to meditate and rejuvenate, and your wish will be coming true very shortly because it came up in the upright. So be on the be on the lookout for new love, water sign. Um, Spirit is saying just don't keep don't look back on the past. There's a group of you that um, is looking back on that past relationship. And you're worried if that was the right choice to leave or not. Spirit saying, yes, it was the right choice. And uh, to keep looking forward, don't look back. Water signs. Exclusively dating couples and married water signs. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What messages do you have for them for December 13th, 2017? <clears throat> Excuse me. For our couples water signs. What do they need to know? Okay, so your bottom of the deck card is the Ace of Cups. Nice, 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 nice. So, um, passion, fire, or not fire, um, emotions. You also got the Two of Cups as your main card. Awesome water signs. Oh, it's so nice to see a coupled water or a coupled love reading that is positive so far, anyways. <laughs> Okay, so um, your bottom of the deck card, the ace or the ace of cups. So you know you're 
your love, your um, your pride, your just your admiration for your partner is just overflowing. And your main card of the read is the two of cups as well. So you are both um, giving and receiving uh, your emotions without even trying. It's coming easy. It's natural. You're just, it's just is, you don't have to try. Um, the night of chalices is clarifying as your past. So there may have been a time where, um, you didn't know if you wanted to offer your love to this person anymore or vice versa, but, um, the seven of wands, you did do a good job of keeping outsiders out. You didn't allow in any third, third parties or like family. Um, I'm getting family was trying to put little things in your ear about staying or going, but you both did a good job of keeping that out. And now you're both, um, feeling like this relationship is having a new start. The nine of pentacles in reverse. Um, you're not, you're not leaving. This relationship is staying together, water signs. Um, the frustration is gone with the um, page of cups. So there's no more, you, at one point in time in this marriage or commitment, um, one or both of you was very frustrated. It, you felt like nothing you did was good enough and nothing you did um, was acknowledged or even appreciated. But that time is coming to an end. And, um, the queen of wands is here with just this person knows what she's got to offer and she's offering it. You can see in the card, she knows she's hot shit. And, um, and that's a turn on to, to your partner, um, for you, fem for your feminine energies, like you having a confidence about you and new confidence that you did not have before. Um, they are liking that. Um, yeah, for sure. Your justice or the justice card is coming up as well as the six of pentacles. So everything is just really balancing out, really working out for you guys. What you give, you are getting, it is balanced. It's fair. The scales are not tipped and, um, yeah, it's just beautiful reading and the queen of cups for your final, um, for your final crowning card. So yeah, you have the queen now and the king of cups in this reading. So you guys are balanced. It's beautiful. Enjoy it. Um, it's just, it's your relationship is going to start beautifully with this new wipe the slate clean, um, starting over. Um, and it's really just going to take a whole new emotional level up. So congratulations, water signs. For those of you who stuck it out through the hard times with each other, you are about to be rewarded. So what a beautiful Wednesday for you guys. I'm so happy for you and I will see you tomorrow.